Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Today's our topic is adequacy of beam section. To check the adequacy of beam section, we have this simple two. We we have to calculate two things only. Now, first check is to check the row, the steel ratio is either between row maximum and row minimum. If, uh, if the value of row is between these we can say that the beam is adequate we have to actually check two conditions we have to check these two conditions the first condition is this one and the second condition is to check this phi mn should be greater than or equal to mu if these both conditions satisfy we can say that our section is adequate to check the first condition means uh, condition number one I will to check the first condition I will suggest you to watch adequacy of reinforcement video you can get all the concepts from that and to check the second condition phi mn greater than or equal to mu now to calculate initially we need to calculate mu either mu is given in the questions or we can calculate it using w l square by 8 now what is w u w u is factored load which can be calculated by 1.2 times dead load plus 1.6 times live load and remember that to, to calculate dead load you have uh, also added self weight okay now you have if you have calculated mu now you will be looking for m phi mn now the formula of, of phi mn is phi mn is equal to phi as fy d minus a by 2 here the value of phi is always 0 0.9 beam section okay now we will go for the value we don't have only the value of a this is effective death now what will be the value of a now a is equal to a s f of y divided by 0.85 fc prime and b means width now we have if, if the question uh, if the examiner is asking about the adequacy of the section you have been given the value of a s if i can, can conclude i can say that a beam is adequate if it follows these both conditions